so that's about right. Now let's see how wide that body is in relation to it. It's one, two to the tail. It's about two heads wide the body, but you might not think so. It, it probably looks, the body to me looks a lot wider than two heads, but there's the proof. One, two. From the ground to the first joint is one, and then two, and then up to here about where the tail enters the body, three. Right, now I've used a series of ovals for the body and the, uh, the front paws and the triangle for the head and an elongated series of triangles for the back legs and to some extent the tail. But if you see it in different sort of shapes, that's fine, it doesn't matter. It's whatever works for you. And hopefully now you'll be getting used to this idea of these simple shapes and looking for them in any animal that you want to paint. Now, you know, it's not just me spinning your line about this confidence thing. I promise you, I'm more confident now drawing the main outline of this kangaroo, knowing that I've got in front of me all these boxes and triangles that actually look like the bases of the thing. So I promise, give it a go. If it works for me, I promise it can work for you as well. Right, I've put together some medium strength mixes of burnt umber, light red, raw sienna, and a little bit of light red and ultramarine for a grey. Now they're not flat washes, they're all mixed together with different proportions. And I'm starting off by dampening the whole of the kangaroo's body and that'll let the washes flow and bleed together nicely. You can see the light greys coming through the areas of left unpainted as highlights. It's gone on a bit heavy on the head at the moment. That's a bit better, it's a bit lighter on the tails and the legs. But that's going to blend together and give an underlying greyness. Right, now I'm going in with that medium strength light red. And you can see the way it's blending nicely. And I put a little bit of raw sienna in that grey mix. And that's just going to go in the front of the kangaroo. Just between the front paws and below the neck. On the chest. Okay, next up we've got a darker grey mix to start putting some shadows and some modelling on the animal. Particularly around the ears and the front of the chest. Because the light's coming from top right. And also the far back leg. And then for the eyes, just a stronger mix of that same grey colour, the near eye, just basically a flattened V. Right, now you can see the way I'm using this quite thick paint to give that dry brush effect, but it also creates that ridge between the body of the kangaroo and its hind leg there by leaving a whiter area. And you see how easy it is to use the side of the brush just to scrape that texture on. OK, I'm just finishing off now with a little bit of simple landscape, really, just to put our kangaroo into context. So I hope you've enjoyed that, and we'll uh, jump on to the next picture.